Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Spectre with you again, and uh, the day we have long waited for has finally arrived. All of my PC parts have arrived for the construction of my Steam box. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing for you guys right now. Um, some of the stuff I've already gotten into a little bit. What we have here <coughs> our uh, Hyperborea 12 centimeter um, ultra silent fans. They are um, supposedly very quiet. They're very thick too, which could give us a problem, but we're going to see. Hopefully they won't. Um, I've got three of those. There are three ports on the case, which I'll show you later, but uh, we may only get to use two because the third one may interfere with other things. Along with the uh, case fans, I have these, which are uh, filters for the case fans. Pull one of these out for you. You see it's got a cool spiral pattern. Um, black. It actually has a case or a uh, face that pops off. And here we have the um, filter itself on top of a mesh. We got screw holes here so we screw this in to the case fans and this snaps on top. in place. Now this probably actually goes in here. And this snaps on being difficult. There we go. Snaps on just like that. <clears throat> so we got three of those to complement our fans. Moving on to a little bit of the meat now. I have this G-Skill uh, Ares uh, low-profile RAM. It's got uh, 2x 8 gigabytes, so it's 16 gig total. So that will go in our motherboard. We've got a manual for the case, which I'm going to need because this case, this case is very special. Thermal paste for a processor. Speaking of a processor. We have an Intel Core i5-4590, uh, it's a LGA-11150 uh, socket. Uh, it was the last piece I was waiting for, came in today, and I'm very happy about it. This is actually my first Intel build, so uh, it's going to be a bit of a learning experience for both of us. Uh, also, we have... Um, A, who is this? This is a Panasonic, I believe. Super slim slot loading Blu ray burner. It's uh, awesome and super low profile, and will go in the case. <clears throat> Which is really the creme de la creme of uh, this whole build. Everything was built or purchased around the case. Um, this is a Serial ATA Mini to standard adapter cable that goes with the Blu-ray. Now let's get on to the meat and potatoes. I picked up a uh, Zalman uh, CNPS 7000 CCU, which is the copper variety uh, cooler. It's compatible with uh, all these sockets. Hmm, maybe not. This could be a problem. We shall see. 1156, 1155, 775 CPUs. I've got an 1150, so that may not fit, but we'll see. We may be able to uh, figure it out. This is going to be part of our learning curve, because I've never installed a cooler of this size and magnitude onto a, uh, onto a uh, case before. Everything's always just been a snap-in variety. So uh, we'll have to see what the motherboard looks like, and what hardware comes in this, and all that jazz. They claimed on their website that this would fit uh, the LGA 1150 socket, even though it doesn't say so on the box. So I'm going to have faith that they know what they're talking about with their own product. <clears throat> we have a SFX uh, A plus gold power supply, fully modular, 450 watts. It uh, should do everything I need it to do and will fit in my case, which is an SFX form factor case. 
Next is the AS Rock H97M ITX AC. Uh, it is a mini ITX core uh, i5, i7, SACA 1150 compatible motherboard. Uh, included Wi Fi built in. It's not really built in, it's on an expansion card, but it came, expansion card came with it, so we're going to be hooking all that up together. And finally, the thing that I'm most excited about is the case. The case is a Silverstone ML07 Mini ITX Gaming HTPC case. This is a very special case in that, if we look on the back here, we got the slot for the motherboard right here. Um, and exhaust fans, but you notice here our expansion slots are in sideways. And the reason why that is, this has a PCI Express riser and a full-size video card will actually sit on its side all the way down the case that way, allowing us to build a small, quiet, capable gaming PC. So uh, I'm super excited about it. So uh, why don't we get with the unboxing? Let's start with the motherboard. 